Hi, and in today's Microsoft Word tutorial, I'm going to show you how to insert and lock both images and text in your document. So I've just got this default document up here, and the first thing I'm going to do is to insert an image. So I'm going to go up to Insert, Picture, and I'm just going to use the stock images from the software. So I'm just going to go over here, Let's select this image here and click insert. Now, Word will insert this document sometimes wherever it chooses, I think, but um, where your cursor is. So we need to move this first, and as you can see, we can't do that. So right click, go down to wrap text, and then you can select from a variety of different options here. So generally, you're going to select either tight or top and bottom. And tight means that the text will be wrapped around. So let's just select that one to start with. And if I just reduce the size of this, and move it over here, you can see how the text will wrap around my image. I'm just going to address the gap around the edge because it's really, really close at the moment. So I'm just going to right click, go down to wrap text, and then more layout options. Then at the bottom here, I'm on the text wrapping at the top. At the bottom here, I'm just going to enter one centimeter into all of these because the text is just a little bit too close to my image at the moment. There we go. And just adjust it like that. Now, what will happen if I begin to type up here or hit my return key, you can see that everything moves down. But if I wanted this image to stay exactly where it is and actually type and the type just carry on around it whilst this image remains then I need to click on it again right click go down to wrap text and then go down to fix position on page and click. Now if I put my cursor at the top here and press the return key you can see that the picture stays exactly where it is. If you want to undo that, just simply click again, right click, wrap text, and then just go up to the move with text, check that. And once again, if I go back to the top, it will move once again. And this can be really handy with lots of different elements of your document, including text. Now, if you want to do the same with text, not the written text that you see here, but let's say you've got a quote or you've got a statement and again, you want it to stay exactly where it is. Go up to insert, go along to text box, click on the drop down and select draw text box. Then just click and drag. You can do this anywhere in your document, doesn't matter. And you can fully adjust this. So again, don't worry too much about its size or shape or anything like that at the moment. So I'm just gonna grab some text copy it, Command or Control C, go back into, double click inside my text box, and then Command or Control V. Then I'm just going to make this a little bit different. I'm going to change the font by going up to the Home tab, clicking on the Font menu, and just selecting a font. Just going to make it bigger using this Increase Font Size, and make it bold. Again, I can't move this around, so again, I need to right click, go down to wrap text, and again, I'm going to choose tight. And then once again, I can move this anywhere in my document. And again, I can adjust this text box so I can increase or decrease its width or height so that it sits just how I want it to on my page. Now, if I click away from it, you can see there's this black outline around the outside. If you don't want that, just select the text box, go to shape format, go to shape outline, click on the drop down and select no outline, and then just click away. Again, if I put my cursor at the top here, just above it, hit the return key, you can see it moves with the text. But again, if I right click, go down to wrap text, and then I go back down, you can't see it at the moment, but it says fixed position on page again. Place my cursor above it again, just to demonstrate, hit the return key, and it stays where it is. 
which is perfect. If you want to do this with multiple images in a row or a group, let's just say you had two of these images or a slightly different image. So I'm just going to copy and paste this image. And then you can see if I hit the return key, they stay exactly where they are. And that's because this image has taken on the attributes of this one. Let's say it was a new image. Let's just click on this new image here. Reduce the size of it. Again, you can't move it around, so we need to do the wrapping again. Wrap text, and we'll go to tight. And then we'll just reduce the size. We'll pop it next to this one. Now, once you're happy with that, if you hit the command or control key and select both of those images, then go up to group and select group. Now, these two images will move around your document as one element. And it will also mean that the text isn't quite so clunky. As you saw when we inserted this photograph here, or this picture here, the text was all a bit clunky around this image, and that's the way to eliminate it. Again, if I hit the return key, the text, the images don't move, the text does. Again, if I want to adjust the distance of the text from the images, then right click, go to wrap text, and go down to more layout options. Once again, I'm going to just hit one, one centimeter for each margin, and this is just the distance from the text and then click OK. And now you can see there's a much nicer distance between the images in your document and the text. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.